there lived a lion. One day, he roamed the jungle in search of a prey. But he did not find any animal. Finally, he was tired and fed up. The sun was almost setting. The lion lost all hope and in his heart he thought, Never mind, I think I have a fast today. The lion was returning to his cave. Just then, his eyes fell upon another cave. The lion thought, before I leave, let me peep in this cave. It will be nice if I found an animal here. Thinking this, the lion peeped into the cave. But what he saw was an empty cave. Once again, the lion let out a deep sigh. He thought it would be best to leave this cave and return back to his cave. Suddenly, an idea struck him. It was nearly evening. The animal living in this cave would surely come back. So let me sit here and wait. Which means, I don't have to hunt for a prey. My hunger will be satisfied. So the lion sat quietly inside the cave. He waited for the animal living in the cave to arrive. This cave belonged to a fox. And a fox is a very smart animal. In a while, after a long day of his hunt, treading cautiously, finally, the fox reached there. Suddenly, he stopped in his tracks. In spite of the dusk setting in, the fox happened to see the ground and realized, Oh my! These are the imprints of a lion's feet. I can see the footprints going in the cave. But I cannot see any footprints coming out. Hmm. Which means the lion is surely sitting inside and is very smartly waiting for his prey to enter the cave. It's good that I have come back to my cave before sunset. If I had been delayed a bit, then he would have surely caught me. Because in the dark, it would not have been possible for me to see the lion's footprints. The fox thought for a moment. And suddenly, he got an idea. Thrilled at his idea, he blinked his eyes and shook his tail. He said in a loud voice, Cave! Oh, cave! Then, he was quiet for a moment. He said again, Cave! Oh, cave! Why aren't you talking today? When I say cave, cave, oh, cave every day, you tell me, welcome back. How was your day today? The lion hiding in the cave thought that perhaps the cave talks every day. But since I am here today, he is scared to talk. Because he is scared, he is not being able to talk. So what if I talk instead of the cave? After some time, the fox said again, Cave! Oh, cave! The lion hiding in the cave then said in a soft voice, Welcome back! How was your day today? Now, is it possible not to recognize a lion's voice? His voice echoed in the cave. He roared. And there was an echo of his voice. Hearing that, the animals in the nearby cave became alert. The lion thought that now the fox would surely come in. But instead of the fox, 
his voice answered, Lion King, can a cave ever talk? Okay then, here I go, bye bye. As the lion peeped out of the cave, what did he see? The fox was running away at full speed, saving his life.